Hey guys! This is a uh, tutorial on how to, to draw the mouth on a normal person. Um, I know that normally I do a manga or an anime um, tutorials, but I decided this time to do something a bit different. And I warned you guys about it, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm just going to do the mouth because I'm just not ready to do the whole face just yet. I'm still practicing myself. and. Um, you know, you have to be really good yourself to be able to teach others, and I don't think I got to that stage just yet. But uh, the mouth is a pretty easy and simple um, part of the face to draw, so I'm going to do a tutorial on that today. Uh, this is really important for manga and anime because it uh, portrays the feel and and um, the mood that the person has. Uh, for example, it can be fear, anxiety, love, um, happiness, anything. And that's really important. The mouth really, really shows that in a person. So, um, yeah, uh, I hope you like it. And uh, I know that in manga and anime, it's much more simpler. The mouth, it's just a line normally or something like that. But um, studying the actual reality, reality side to it um, is really important as well. So, I hope you like it and tell me what you think. Right, hi guys. Um, so this is my tutorial of a mouth. As you can see, I've already done it because, and I'm not going to draw it again, unfortunately, sorry, but I don't have time. I've already done it once, but my stupid laptop won't load it, and um, I have to do it again. But um, I'll just show you guys, and I'll explain to you as I've already done it. Um, as you can see on the lips, it's really important that you show their shape, and you show that they're round, obviously, and just, you show that they curve around. And by doing that, you can um, indicate these slight lines with your pencil or with your rubber, just by erasing some lines on your lower and upper lip. You can see that you have them in reality as well. Um, for the teeth, um, keep it light. Indicate every tooth, of course, but um, when you're around here in the middle, don't um, don't trace it that hard. As in, don't uh, don't press that hard because um, you know your teeth. Your teeth, when, in reality, yeah, they do have those lines. But if you if you do that, it just looks strange. So use your rubber to to create this line going round to erase those those really hard lines because that just doesn't look nice. Uh, behind here is a kind of a slightly slightly darker shade because um, of course it's behind the teeth and there's a lot of shade in there and I just slightly indicated the lower teeth because she's smiling with her mouth open and um, the lower lip is the same as the top you start a bit darker when you're nearest to the actual mouth and then go lighter as it goes nearer the skin um, and that's about it. Um, I mean, the corners of the mounts can be pretty pointy, but don't do it too pointy because they just look like a knife, and that's just terrible. So, yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry this is really quick, and I'm I'm sorry I didn't draw it before you guys, but um, I just don't have time to upload it again. I'm really sorry. Um, I I don't know what happened to my to my movie maker. It just crashed the whole thing. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I just want to show you guys before I go my portrait sketches and, and studies and um, I want to show you guys that I'm not sitting around doing nothing. Um, I am studying it. I'm just, uh, this is drawn from a perspective of the face, you know, <clears throat> the the shading, how, how it looks like, profile and front view above. All of them things, you know. I've studied the anatomy as well. Of course I don't do many sketches here but uh, I more kind of studied it myself instead of doing sketches. I just wanted to draw some skulls, <laughs> and here I did the eye. I find this really interesting in the eyeball as well. And um, when it's when uh, the pupil is, I mean, yeah, when the pupil is uh, bigger or uh, bigger or smaller and things like that. And I've done proper sketches. This is a child's eye. I love it. It's so cute. This is from kind of like a side view, and this is a. Um, a you know, a bigger eye. I wanted to experiment with the shading and everything. And um, here I've done um, the ear as well. I don't do many sketches of this because it's it's pretty simple, if you ask me. And uh, now I'm going to do I'm going to do the nose. I still haven't gotten to that stage yet. And here I wanted to show you guys my very first portrait. To be honest with you, I hate it. I don't like it at all. Um, uh, the eyes were really 
were the hardest thing to draw if you ask me. Um, the face just turned out way too stretchy, too long, too horrible. I hate it for one, but um, hey, who, you know, I just wanted to show you guys anyway. It's my first and why not? Um, and that's about it. That's that's just the math that I did just now. And um, yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. I'm sorry it was so quick and so um, terrible, but um, I, I just... Um, I can't be bothered to, to do this tutorial again. I've done it once. Maybe my next one will be something on manga, because um, because I've done I've done portraits and stuff way too long, and I'm just getting bored now, to be honest. <laughs> um, I just need to take a, a longer break. So yeah. Okay, I, I better go now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.